All right, YouTube, it's time to be back with another video. Man, I know I haven't been posting um, as often as I normally do. It's because, man, I got a lot going on. I got a lot of good news. To, uh, today, we're going to have like, a pretty long video today, man, because I got a lot of things to tell you guys um, about what's going on over here at CB Kennels. First thing is, um, so it is the start of a new week. She, her puppies are supposed to be here on Friday, but I'm definitely thinking they're going to come before Friday because all last night she was panting, uh, you know, nesting and all that, and she wouldn't even go to sleep, man. She kept me up all night, so I couldn't get no sleep. So I stayed up with her um, and just, you know, comfort her. I rubbed on her for a couple hours and just stayed up with her, comfort her, make her feel better. But I definitely think they're going to come before Friday, maybe, I would say, maybe Wednesday, maybe, hopefully. But I don't know if you guys remember, I had the ultrasound for Betty and Hennessy scheduled for Wednesday, I actually got pushed back up to month to today, which is Monday. And the reason being because um, when her pups come, I don't want to be trying to do a lot of stuff, man. I wanted to give her all my attention to her and her pups. So that's why I just, you know, had the appointment pushed up so I can go ahead and get that out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to try to drop some in my next video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would definitely go follow me on Instagram because I drop everything there. Juice Puppies. Juice litter is supposed to be dropping today. It won't be from Sophie. I don't know if you guys remember one of like, remember like five or six videos ago. I did a breeding with a uh, a brand new girl that looks just like Sophie, but she was a little bit shorter. Her pups dropped today. So if you don't follow my Instagram, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my Instagram link below. Well, not the link. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Instagram uh, below. So go ahead and pause this video and subscribe. Uh, not subscribe. I'm, I apologize, but go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll give you guys a few seconds to go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, bet. So again. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see those pups when they drop today. They should be here in the next couple hours. I, I, he didn't really tell me the uh, time he's supposed to be at as a C-section, but um, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can definitely see those pups, those juice puppies. She's Brindle. She's literally the same exact Brindle of Sophie, so I'm kind of expecting the same thing from her litter, from her litter and my litter. Um, the only difference in hers and mine is Sophie's pedigree is a little bit better than that dog, but... I'm pretty much expecting the same color. So, like I said, follow me on Instagram. Also, man, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you fucking up. You tripping. I'm going to tell you why you tripping. Because just two or three days ago, I went on live on Instagram, and I gave like three people, three or four motherfuckers cash. I was giving away money on live on Instagram. So, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you slacking, you tripping. I got 18, then I had 20K subscribers, and I only got like 4K Follows on Instagram. Why is that? I don't know y'all tripping. I be giving away free money on my live on Instagram. So you better go follow my Instagram so you can get this cash giveaway next time I go live and give away some cash. Just giving back to my subscribers and giving back to y'all because y'all are the reason I, y'all are partially the reason why I am who I am today because y'all support and love. So go follow me on Instagram so you can definitely be part of that cash giveaway when I be going on live and giving away cash so you can uh, enter for a chance. But all I do is just go on live until you drop the cash out and I just send random motherfuckers cash. So um, but I gotta check her temperature real quick. So the only thing about the only thing about when you do AI is the only down. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna give you guys a little information for the next couple of minutes. The only thing about only bad part about doing AIs and they're not naturally time is you gotta know your time. And that's why you gotta get a lot of progesterones because the progesterones tell you that they should ovulate. So normally when you have your C section, they go by the ovulation date. But I didn't get that many progesterones on her, so I don't know her ovulation date. So in that case. We go by the days that I, I bred her. So I bred her on the 10th and 11th, and I skipped the 12th, and I did the 13th. So with that being said, I know she's going to come somewhere between the 10th and the 13th. So up until like, so for like the past, I want to say two days, I've been checking her temperature to just, so what's going to happen is, I don't know if you guys know, but what's going to happen is when she's about to go into labor, when she's getting ready to go into labor, her temperature is going to drop to below 98. Make sure you pay attention, guys, because you might have a girl where she drops and then goes back up and then drops and then goes back up. So don't just see the first 98, oh, she's ready. That's not how that goes. You want to keep checking it every couple hours just to, you know, because it's going to drop because her temperature dropped to 98 a couple days ago. Then when she shot back up to 100. So like I said, it's going to it's gonna go back and forth. Just make sure you keep monitoring it so you can get the correct temperature when you are checking for temperature. So I've been checking for the last couple of days. She dropped, she's going up. But last night she was at 99. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and check her again. Just so you guys, for the people that don't know how to do it, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know how to do check the dog's temperature, a pregnant dog's temperature, just so you guys know how to do it. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get a thermometer 
Um, you want to shut, you know, like just insert it in her uh, rectum up to about here and just hold it until it beeps. And then it's going to let you know the temperature. I haven't checked it this morning, so let me go ahead and check it now so I can see what it is. This girl about to blow, man. This girl about to blow. She big. She about to blow. So let me go ahead and um, check it real quick. Don't just shove it in there, man. Cause, you know, if she's still a dog, man. You want to just kind of be, you know, gentle with it. Make sure she stays still. See, it's going up right now. Right now, she's at 96, 98. So she's still going up. So last time I checked, it was like last night, early morning, around like 3 or 4 in the morning. And she's at a 99. So I'll see what it says she's at now. It's still going up and down. So it's going up and it's going down. So I want to wait for it. I had a beat so I can know the accurate temperature. So they go to beat. Hit a beat. All right. So it says she's at 99.6. So that's definitely meaning she's going to go into labor soon. I'm going to lock that off in a few minutes. Make sure you keep a couple, man. You want to make sure, you got, like I said, you keep a couple of thermometers. Um, I normally alternate them when I check them just to be sure it's accurate. So she's at 99.7, but my vet's already on standby. I, uh, informed her last night what was going on and I love my vet, man. She's, she's on point. I can text her from a personal number and she's on point when they come to responding back to me. So I love her for that. So those puppies are going to be coming soon. Again, I'm going to be dropping those puppies from the other female today on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see those. Um, so let's go out here and uh, finish the dogs because I've already started cleaning the dogs, but I'm almost done. I got everything set up to say I want to take, you know, take a look at it. So what I do is I put the food in there, the water, and I let it eat, whatever, take her out. Got the thing ready for the pups. I know I had a different color last time, but I put that color because I think it's going to look good with the offset of the puppies. Oh, also, real quick, um, another reason why you want to follow my Instagram is because you guys know Betty and Hennessy get... The ultrasound today. So I'm going to definitely post that on Instagram. So if you guys want to be informed on that, uh, stay tuned for that. Sophie, um, let me actually put Sophie in her cage so she don't jump out. Come on, Sophie. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Get in there. Get in there, girl. Get in there. Okay. So when I get back in the house, I may end up taking her out and letting her walk around. But I just want to put in there for right now. Yeah. So let me go outside, check on the dogs. I already cleaned them. I just didn't put them back yet. I had to buy some dog food. I ran out. Yeah. Everybody keep asking me. Let me unplug. Because that shit don't fall. Stop, let me see. Everybody that keep asking me what dog food I use again. This is the dog food I use. Hennessy, stop. Pro plan, complete essential results. Chicken and rice. So for everybody that keeps asking me what I use. Here you go. Juice, your puppy's gonna be here today, man. You excited? A lot of things I'm working on, man, over there at CD Films. I don't normally tell YouTube everything that I be having going on. I post a lot on Instagram. Like, I post a lot of updates on Instagram. So you would get quicker updates on Instagram than you will on YouTube. But I'm in the process, man, of working on a lot, a lot of big things right now. One major move I'm trying to make right now is um, I'm actually in the process of trying to buy Hennessy's mom. 
Hennessy's mom, so Hennessy was her mom's first litter, and Hennessy's mom just actually dropped the litter, I want to say three or four months ago. And man, the reason why I'm trying to buy Hennessy's mom, man, is because like the pup she just had from um uh, the pup she just uh had uh once or three or four months ago, man, they're so nice and consistent. I love the way I love the litters that her mom throws. Her mom throws consistent litters. Like when I say consistent, I mean the pups all have the same structure, nice structure. Look just like Hennessy. Like they all look just like the pups literally, like the pups she throw, they literally all look the same. They are so consistent. And that's what I'm looking for in a female dog that's consistent. Another positive thing about Hennessy and her mom, her mom throws big litters. Her mom throws her first litter with Hennessy was seven. Her last litter she just had was ten. So, you know. So I'm trying to work out a deal with him, man, trying to buy Hennessy mom. Yes, she had two litters, but we all know a, a female is good for three litters. Only three litters when she had a C-section is only good. You know, that third litter, you're kind of taking a risk, but I'm willing to take that risk because of the fact of what she throws um, and how she throws. I love it. So I'm definitely in the process of trying to buy her, man, trying to work out a good deal with him. He knows what he has, so that's why I came to him with a deal. Um, he was like, I'm going to get back to you on it. Let me think about it. Let me see how I feel. Let me sleep on it. But like I told him, the deal the deal is going to stand there, man. It's going to be there. So whenever you enter, you know, whenever you're ready, come on, Juice. Juice. I told him whenever you come on, Juice. I told him whenever he's ready, man, let's, hey, let's pull the trigger, man, to make this deal work. Man, when I say she, her, the pump she just had was super nice, man, I'm talking about, they look, man, listen, just like Hennessy, like, same color, same structure. Short, not man, them bitches look good, bro. Like everything's clean. And I'm I really when I seen the litter, when he something the litter, he just said he just had man. I was like, man, I got to, I gotta have it. He was like, oh man, it's a second litter. I was like, come on, get in there. I was like, man, I don't care about that, bro. I wanna have it. When I want something, bro, when it, when I when I when it's a dog that I want, man, I'm gonna buy it. I don't care about what nobody says about nothing. When I want it, I'm gonna get it. And that's just me. Cause I know it's I know at the end of the day. It's a business investment, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's my business investment. So I'm definitely gonna be willing to take that into consideration. Even if it's a big ticket, even if the ticket is 20 bands, I wanted to invest that because you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that's what the ticket is, but we got a deal we working on. But like I said, man, I wanted to invest that big ticket because I know the outcome is gonna be a lot more than 20 bands, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do that, but I'm still waiting on him to get back with me. I'm still waiting on him to get back with me on what he want to do. But when I get him, man, she looks, she literally looks just like Hennessy. The only difference is she's a little bit thicker than Hennessy. But other than that, man, she, another positive thing is she's about to go in heat. So she just had a litter, I want to say four months ago. So she'll be going back in heat and maybe two months. So I'm going to make the money right back. So I'm not really tripping on it because I'm going to make the money right back. Come over Somebody come out. Somebody come out. One of y'all come out. One of y'all come on, not at the same time. One of y'all come on, not at the same time. Come on. Somebody. Nova, Riri, somebody. Anyone come on? Riri, Nova. She's not on the You better get out of here, girl. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, Riri. Riri, Nova. Come on, Riri. Do you love me? I got to put their beds back, man. I just cleaned up the uh, counters and everything. So. I'm getting everything ready, man. I apologize for y'all. I've been getting a lot of DMs like, bro, what the video is that? Man, I apologize, bro. I got so much shit I'm working on right now. I got so much shit going on, man. I be trying to get to all this, this content. But just so y'all do know, when those pups come, y'all will be getting a lot of content back to back. I will try to vlog a lot of the, um, the puppy content. So you guys probably going to be getting videos like maybe I want to say every other day. Like, you're gonna be getting a lot of consistent videos on those puppy drop, just so you guys can understand the life of whelping a litter, um, how to, you know, how to, how, to, how, to, how to take care of the puppies, so that way you don't have to pay to whelp your litter, you know what I'm saying? I can show you guys and give you guys advice on how to do it. So you definitely gonna get a lot, watch she turn it over, she gonna turn it over, I know her. So that way you guys, you know, when those pups come, I'm definitely gonna Get you guys a lot of content, so that way that you guys can uh, learn a lot from those uh, puppy videos and learn how to, you know, maintain when it comes to having a litter. And if you have a job, you try to whip a litter, man. 
I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not gonna say nothing. It's impossible because it's definitely possible. It's just gonna be a lot harder on you, but it's bro, it's definitely possible. Nothing impossible. If you believe hard enough, it should have happened. Just like that's how I feel. Anything you want in life, man. Anything, a kid, I always remember that. Everybody, not even just kids. Anything you want in life, just always remember. If you try hard enough, it'll come to you. If you grind hard enough, it's gonna come to you. If you hustle hard enough, it's gonna come to you. You know what I'm saying? Just believe. You always gotta believe in yourself, even when nobody believes in you no more. Uh, nobody have believed in your dream. Believe in yourself, because that's all it takes for you to believe in yourself and for you to take that step. And then you're gonna start to see that positive outcome. You know what I'm saying? Just a little motivational advice this morning, you know, this afternoon. But um, I'm excited. Like I said, again, I'm kind of on the iffy side about her taking. But Hennessy, look how calm she is, y'all. Look at this. When does Hennessy ever be that calm? Come on, bro. That girl took, man. And that's all That's all facts. But I got to take this to Draco. Go feed Draco. Draco's in the room. But, um, you know... Again, man, like I say, when when you up in those litters, man, it's 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 a lot of work. It's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. It just takes a lot of time, a lot of uh, losing sleep, and a lot of man, you know, knowing how to do it and uh, to make it work. But I don't I don't pay nobody with other this, man, because like I said, you know, all the type of guy, I rather do it myself so that I can appreciate the value of it because I did it myself. I appreciate the value of anything that I do more when I do it myself because, like, you know, somebody just give me something, I'm not going to appreciate it. Well, I'm a preacher person in general because I came from nothing. So with me coming from nothing and me starting at the bottom of everything and me, you know, working to what I have now, I appreciate everything, even if, you know, something's given to me. But nothing ever was ever given to me. So I appreciate everything because I know what it feels like to not have nothing. I know what it feels like to struggle. I know what it feels like, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate everything. But um, I can't wait to breed Nova, man. I'm so excited about breeding Nova. I'm so excited about breeding that girl, man. That girl haven't gotten no bigger. I'm so excited about that. I'm letting you guys know when that girl Sophie goes into labor, I'm gonna vlog everything again. But like I said. It might be nighttime, so I might go live on Instagram. If, let's say, for example, she goes in the heat at nighttime and I have to shoot her up there on emergency, I'm going to go live on Instagram. So Instagram is going to know first. Like y'all be seeing, Instagram seen it first. Or how they be saying it? Instagram, Facebook, see? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Instagram seen it first. So, you know, Instagram, you get a lot quicker updates than YouTube. So if you're trying to purchase puppy for me, definitely follow me on Instagram again. And I keep, I keep specifying this and I keep pressing this because listen, Instagram get a little quicker updates than YouTube will. I post everything on Instagram daily on my litters, uh, prices, everything. So you get a quicker update on that and you can get quicker dibs on a litter on Instagram than you would on YouTube. Just for, you know, your, uh, for the people that do care, you know what I'm saying? For everybody that don't care, I don't give a damn either. Fuck you. Come on, dude. Okay, dude. Come on, son. Juice, come here. Juice, come on. Come on, Juice. Juice, no, I don't want to go out there. Juice, come here, Juice. You know. Man, Juice, going, I'm talking about, man, it's so crazy because, like, Juice is going to take the camp to another level, man. Well, he already took the camp to another level. But, like, with his litters, man, he's going to take the camp to a whole other level. But... I definitely, and the reason why I want to get these ultrasounds on them before her litter come is because I need to know, okay, I need to know if she's pregnant, that'll give me a better chance of what I can keep from Sophie's litter and what I can sell because I know she has lit on the way. Um, Sicario, he throws a lot of girls, which is good, that's good. But I just hope I get at least one boy, one good Merle boy. That way I can uh, keep them. He's gonna pick a litter, like, and I'm not selling him, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, I don't care. Mother off me 100K, I'm not selling him. Um, Cause I know that shit gonna be fire, you know what I'm saying? I already know, look, look, she took, but look at this, bro. Look, bro, bro, listen, bro, y'all comment down below. When has Hennessy ever done this? Come on, bro. 
Listen, I'm going live later on today when she come through the ultrasound on that girl and this girl. So make sure y'all tuned in. Another cash giveaway coming up soon within the next week. Video, uh, like I said, video is going to be coming a lot more often because of what's going on. So y'all stay tuned. I'm excited. Juice. So um, I want to speak on something really quick. So um, I was on live a couple days ago and I did the cash giveaway to a couple people. Man, I had this guy who DM'd me and he said he had litter coming that was on the way, a pocket litter. Everybody know I've been looking for a nice pocket female. Um, and he was like, man, I really appreciate him. Um, Shouts out to him. He was like, oh man, I got a litter on the way. I see you've been looking for a pocket. And he sent me pictures of, 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 the, of the parents. And man, when I say they look great, the pedigree is great. I'm definitely going to spend some bread with him. But what stood out to me the most about him was that he was like, oh, man, I know you're a big time person and you this and that. Man, I'm going to look out for you on the price rise. And I said the most respectfulest thing I can ever say to anybody. Listen, I said, bro, you don't have to look out for me because of who I am. I respect you and I respect your hustle and I respect your business. You know what I'm saying? Because he told me he was in the process of living in an apartment with the breeding. He was trying to move his family out. So, bro, I respect you because I know how I feel to be in that situation. So, bro, you don't have to give me no discount or any of that because of who you think I am. Like, bro, listen, whatever your price is, if I want, I'm going to spend the money on it. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to look out for me and give me a better deal because you feel like, oh, he's a name person. He has this. and he, Bro, I don't care about none of that, bro. If what you have, I like and it's worth the money. Whatever you take, whatever your ticket is, I'm not gonna try to bargain you down. Or, oh man, I only got this, and I'm only trying to spend that. Because if I was, if I was only trying to spend that, you know what that means? Let me go find something in that price range. I'm not gonna knock his prices just because you know what I'm saying. Whatever you know, what I'm saying I don't know people's living situation. Stop, no, don't do that, Riri. I don't know people's living situation, so I'm not gonna try to knock him down, man. You know, and try to you know dewangle his prices because you know I feel like oh. I feel like I got a little clout. I wouldn't even call myself famous, you feel me? Because I wouldn't say all that. Because I don't care about the fame, bro. I can care less about the fame. Only thing I care about, bro, really, genuinely, is becoming successful, helping my family, helping y'all. That's why I come to y'all with all this information so I can help y'all not to have to struggle like I did. Um, and I voluntarily do. I don't have to. I do it because I love y'all, you feel me? Y'all support me and I support y'all. That's why motherfuckers DM me. I DM y'all back. Quit. Everybody that DM me, they'll tell you, my responses are quick. I got two phones. I have two phones. So my responses are quick. They're going to be quick. They're going to be quick. Unless I'm busy. But they're going to be quick, you know what I'm saying? And you need help, I'm going to give you my honest opinion, whether it hurts your feelings or whatever, because I'm just a real guy. I'm not going to sugarcoat and be like, oh, yeah, this and that, that and that. I'm not going to try to be like, oh, buy my own puppies. You don't got it. Bro, listen, I'm going to give you my honest opinion, and you just take it for what it is, and you just go from there. Whatever my opinion is, you take it, you go with it, you do, you don't, oh well. I gave my opinion, um, and I gave the, the, my opinion to the best of my knowledge of what's going on. Because I can't give you an opinion on some shit I don't know about. But, um, you know, that's pretty much all I can say. But, um, oh, real quick, one more thing before I end the video. It's so funny how people can be like, oh, they look at my last videos before I got the kennels, before I got the big kennels. And they be like, you know the one that the one that was like life of American bully breeder. They'll look at that video and they'll see I just had the small ones. They'll be like, oh, how can you call yourself this? How can you call yourself a breeder? Those kills are so small. You know, and, I, and it's so funny because I'd be like, I'd be wanting to tell them, like, maybe if you catch up on some of the newer videos, you will see there's a whole new setup at the camp. Whole new setup. So what you're seeing is elevation. You know what I'm saying? Elevation. Hey, y'all remember that. Mark, hey, write that down. Elevation. Write that down, y'all. But they'll see, man, elevation, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, elevation. That's all, you know, the key to life. Elevation. Elevating. Getting better and better every day. Taking a higher step every day. You know what I'm saying? Look at my baby. Just get a, just get a look around the kennel. Because somebody been saying, you know what I'm saying? Get, get, a, get a look around the kennel. People kept saying, you know, they want you to get more of the dogs. You know what I'm saying? Because they say, you record me a lot. So I want you to get more of the dogs. You know what I'm saying? Get more of the dogs. How they looking, how they living, how they feeling, things like that. You know, just a little, little some, some. But yeah, man, I love you guys, man. I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys, man. All the 
help y'all give me all the knowledge y'all give me because believe it or not y'all i'm not a guru i don't know everything i learn from you guys too so when you guys people deal me man about things i've never even heard about like i had one guy you i think he uh messed comments on youtube it was like hey man can you do a video on something about flat chested or whatever I, I was like bro i didn't even know what the hell it was so i did some research on it and i was like damn that's why i love you guys I, bro y'all don't know what i'm learning i'm learning too i'm never too big or too good to learn something like i'm never you know what I'm saying? Too good to get it to learn something. So, I'm learning just like y'all. We learning as a family, man. If you follow CD Kellers, man, y'all love me, man. I love you guys. We're a family, man. We're doing this together. We're growing together as I grow. And it's my journey of being a, becoming a bigger breeder. Um, y'all growing. So, you know, that's why I did a little cash away giveaway on my Instagram live. Because I felt like, man, you know, I need to give back. I give back on a regular basis, which y'all don't see off camera. But... You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of guy, I like to, I like to give away um, and not make it known because I feel like, it might be weird, but I feel like when you give away and you try to blast it, it's kind of like you feel like, oh yeah, I'm giving away so I'm that nigga or I'm giving away so y'all need to praise me because I'm giving away. I like my shit to go on the unknown, you know what I'm saying? Like people are like, oh, he don't give away. I do, but you just don't, y'all don't even know everything I do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even know everything I'm doing or everything I'm Every decision I make, you know what I'm saying? So I'm always constantly giving uh, giving back. But I just don't, you know what I'm saying, record it and things like that. Because I don't want, like I said, I don't want, I like all my shit to be, you know what I'm saying? I went hog hunting yesterday. We didn't catch no hogs. Man, we was at it all day, man. We didn't catch no hogs. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. We went hog hunting. We didn't get no hogs, man. It was real dry out there. We didn't see no wildlife. We didn't see no rabbits, no squirrels, no, no deers. No hogs. We didn't see nothing out there, man. But I actually had fun with my man and my guy. That was my first time going hog hunting. I should have recorded it, but I didn't record it because, man, we didn't have no signal out there. And we was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you ever been hunting before, but when you're hunting and you got your AR-15 and you got your handgun and you got all these, you know what I'm saying, you got so much going on, you got to try to make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings because, you know, when you're hunting, man, they got alligators out there. You can you can die, man. So when you're hunting, man, you got to be on alert, man, because you might not come back home. So you got to make sure you make it back home to your family. So, you know, that's why I like... But I, I'm in the process. I, I got to buy me a GoPro with a chest mount. That way I can... Uh, when I start doing more things, you guys can start getting more... Because I'm going to start vlogging a lot more than just my dogs. I'm going to start doing hunting vlogs. I, I don't know, man. I just want to... I want my channel to be a little bit of everything, like... I want, I'm going to do some vlogs of, uh, you know, me going hunting, a lot of it, me going fishing, a lot of different things, man, because I know it's a dog channel, but like I said, I definitely want to, you know, just be versatile. I want to be versatile as a person. Like I told you guys, man, that's pretty much the end of this video. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram for the last time. I know I just said it like a million times in this video, but that's how, uh, how how important it is for you guys to follow me on Instagram so you guys can be informed before YouTube on the, my cash giveaways. Just not only cash giveaways, man. Just all my information when it comes to my dogs. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Leave a thumbs up. Uh, share this video with your friends, your family, your kids. Um, I'm trying to be your favorite YouTuber. I'm trying to be your favorite, your favorite YouTuber. If you don't like it, don't watch. If you love me, keep following me. I love y'all. Y'all support me. I support y'all. We out. Till the next video, we gone.